I am walking down these snail trails back up here. Did you get all the pictures I sent you? Yes, I received photos of a large U.S. military training model for the 45 automatic. What can you tell me about this thing? Well, it's quite unique in the fact that I've never seen any of them. I've heard of them. You usually see the BARs and the M1 carbines and M1 Karens, but they must not have made very many of those 45 automatic. Over the years, we've sent Richard Ellis a ton of photos, but this is the first time that I've ever sent him photos of something he's never seen before. This is a mind bender because this guy has seen it all. I've never seen that, but yeah. And it's really reflected in his voice. He's bewildered, he's befuddled. The guy's dead. You want to pop this is euphoric voice. Huh? I mean, you want to pop a yeah. yeah. Richard on to his heels. That's a big deal. I've seen hundreds of the other models of weapons used by the government. Mostly made out of cast aluminum. You said the composition of this was like a resin? Yeah, it's not plastic. The grips are definitely resin. Yeah, I don't think it's fiberglass in there. There's a chip. Yeah, there's a chip right here. You can see a little bit right there. I think the same thing is this piece right here is made of wood. Yeah. This is very contracted with manufacturing companies and sometimes there were law and paw companies and it was difficult for them. I mean, there was a lot of hand work. Yeah, you can tell that. Usually they have a stand. It came with a stand and I don't know what happened to it. I had the box that it came in. Like a wooden box? Yeah, a wooden box. Wow. So what are you thinking on it? Just for the sheer fact that it's a 45 automatic, it's desirable. You know, at auction, you know, it could 